Alrighty, Algebra 1. Last week we added and subtracted polynomials, which is really just combining like terms. Today we will multiply polynomials. And to multiply polynomials, basically you're just using the distributive property, but in some applications it's a different form of the distributive property. It's like a repeated distributive property. So I'll leave this here up just for a minute here if you wanna look at this, but I'm gonna make this go away in a moment and I'm gonna work you through this example three problem right here because I'd rather talk you through it. Example three here wants us to multiply these two binomials. By the way, one of last week's problems when I watched the video, I called the final answer a trinomial when it actually had four terms. I don't know if anyone caught that slip up, but I did, just wanted to correct that real quick. Anyway, we're gonna multiply these two binomials. Now, this entire binomial is in parentheses, as is this one. So this is a distributive property application, but perhaps a little bit different than you've ever seen it, because everything has to multiply everything else. In other words, because we have a binomial multiplying a binomial, we actually have the distributive property that has to happen twice, twice, twice. This 2x needs to multiply the 3x and the positive 4, and this negative 5 needs to multiply the 3x and the positive 4. So we have to do the distributive property twice. We have to distribute the 2x, that's the first time, and we have to distribute the negative 5, that's the second time. There's going to be four products, ooh, four, four products that we have to find here. I'll just work to the right here. Typically I work these down, but I'm noticing here on the video, sometimes it works a little better to do it a little bit differently. 2x times 3x. That's going to be 6x squared, if you remember our work. 2 times 3 is 6. X times X is X squared. Now we do our long arrow with the 2x. 2x times plus 4 is going to be plus 8x. So now we've taken care of distributing the 2x. Now we distribute the negative 5. Negative 5 times 3x is negative 15x, negative five times four is negative 20. And now we have this guy. Now we're not finished, why not? Because of what we learned last week, we've got friends right here that can combine. 6x squared doesn't have any friends. The negative 20 doesn't have any friends. But this 8x and negative 15x, they are certainly friends. 8x minus 15x is gonna be negative 7 x and then we have our minus 20 at the end and we have our 6x squared in the front and we have now successfully multiplied these two binomials and simplified what we got our final answer here would be 6x squared minus 7x minus 20. there is a very famous acronym for what we just did and it is called foil what we just did is oftentimes referred to as foiling now, what does this acronym stand for? It stands for exactly what we just did. First, outer, inner, last. What are you talking about? That's what we just did. Well, it's just an acronym for you to remember that you multiply the firsts, okay? The 2x and the 3x, they were quote unquote first in both binomials. Then we did the outers, outer, right? Uh, outers, <laughs> okay? I can't fit my hands in the screen. But 2x and 4 were the outer numbers. They were on the outsides. Then what did we do next? We did the inners. The negative 5 and the 3x, they were on the insides. Then we did the lasts. Negative 5 and 4 were the last ones written in both binomials. That is a very famous acronym for what we just did when you multiply two binomials, you FOIL. First, outer, inner, last. You can take a look at this problem right here, maybe pause it and read through if you'd like, where they quote unquote use the FOIL method. We used the FOIL method in the previous problem. We just didn't call it FOIL. What we called it was the distributive property because that's what it is. FOIL is just an acronym for reminding you what exactly it is you're doing. So if you wanted to pause this and see their first, outer, inner, last, that's fine, but Basically, they would do the same thing we just did to get the 6x squared minus 7x minus 20, which is the same thing we got. Let's go ahead and foil this right here. We've got these two binomials, 9p minus 15, multiplying 2p plus 3. Maybe you want to pause the video, try it on your own, come back and check the answer, but I'm going to talk through the answer right now. 
So I'm gonna do this without drawing the arrows because you can look at the previous problem where I had the arrows here. I'm just gonna talk myself through foil, essentially. First, 9p times 2p is gonna be 18p squared. Outers, 9p times 3 plus 27p. Inners, negative 15 times 2p is gonna be negative 30p. And lasts, negative 45 when I do negative 15 times three. These two guys here are friends. 27 minus 30 is gonna give me negative 3p. We have the minus 45 at the end here. We have the 18p squared in the beginning here. And there's our answer. I am going to leave you with a problem this time that I want you to try and figure out for next week. And then next week we will give you the answer. The problem I'd like you to see if you could figure out for next week is multiplying these two polynomials. But what's the difference here between the examples we just went through? This isn't two binomials. This is a trinomial times a binomial. Foil here doesn't work. Well, let me rephrase that. It's not that foil doesn't work. It's that foil doesn't apply here. But the distributive property that we explained initially in this video, if you want to go back and listen to that part again, before we talked about FOIL, we said we have to do a repetitive distributive property. We have to repeat the distributive property. That's exactly what needs to be done here. Everything needs to multiply everything else. So I'm going to leave it at that. Next week, I'll give you the answer to this, and we'll go from there. Hope you guys had a good week. Peace out. Later. Peace out. Later. I thought I saw a light when you passed me by The reason why I shine, you're the reason why I thought I caught your eyes, the love is blind I thought I saw